ATB here doing this week's edition of ATB TV. Uh, it's going to be short and sweet this week because we uh, had very few runners, but of the few runners we had, we had a winner. And that was at Saturday at Sandown. We had Tayo who went six starts for six wins at Sandown. Um, he's just a little champ. He's racing again this next Friday night in a listed race at Mooney Valley over 2,500 metres. We also had Bear Min Fishy finished 8th at Sandown. She jarred up a little bit from the track and um, we're hoping that she's going to be running next Friday night at San uh, Mooney Valley as well. So she'll appreciate that spongy track. Um, this week, well tonight, I'm off to Mooney Valley where we've got Arizona Girl Racing. She's a last start winner. Very green in her um, men men mentally and also um, developing. Um, but next prep when she comes back in she's going to be a really nice horse but tonight I give her a good each way chance um, Tomorrow we've got Firehouse Rock racing in a 1400 meter race at Caulfield. We're back there now It's reopening the new surface is down and it's great. So um, Depending on how much rain we get overnight will depend on whether he starts or not We've got Lyndon Doom at Tarang on Sunday resuming from a spell. She's trialed really well and uh, we expect her to go well um, what she does on Sunday, she'll take improvement from and she'll be um, better next start. We've got Grand Arrow Racing as well at Tarang. He's been unlucky. He's drawn a bad barrier again, but if he gets good luck in running and um, the splits form for him, he should be there in the money or thereabouts. And we've got the last angel who's racing over 1,600 metres, stepping up in distance. The blinkers go on along with Dean Yendel. And uh, we'll be hoping to see an improved performance out of her as well. And on Sunday, we're off to Bendigo also with Glockenspiel, a last start winner. And we'll, it's a step up in class, but we'll look for him to be running on. And we've got Jen Y, who's also nominated and accepted at Benalla on Monday. So a few weeks ago, you'll remember that I caught up with the apprentice Jessica Eaton. Uh, this week she had a jump out at Cranbourne in all her race gear and I just wanted to bring her in and give you an update on her. So welcome Jess. Hi Shana. Hi guys. So Jess, on Monday you had a jump out with all your race gear on, so that what did that involve? Um, that involved riding in breeches, silks, uh, my own race saddle and all gear on the race saddle. Yep, and you rode one for Mick Price, Mandler. How did you go? Yes, he was very good. Trialed very well. We ran second. It's a yep. very good experience. So what's the next process? How many of these um, trials in your race day gear do you have to do? Um, at least three have to be ticked off by stewards and our coaches, Matty Pumper and Matty Highland. Mm -hmm. But um, generally it's just as many as... I'm happy with my trainer Mick Price is happy with and the coaches. Yep, and so how many more do you think you might do? Um, there's some things I need to fix, just being race gear makes everything a lot different, so my riding has changed a little bit, but um, just a couple more in my race gear and I should be back to what I'm usually riding. So. Yeah, and you rode in some Caulfield jump outs on Tuesday? Yes. How, um, how many did you ride? I rode a feely for Mick called Eclat. Yeah, she's one of your favourites. Yeah, she's very pretty. She's by Benito and she trialed very well. Nice soft trial first up. Yeah. And for those out there who have just read the newsletter, you'll see the Benito filly that we've got on offer. So um, that was the filly that I did mention in the newsletter about Eclat. She's a real leggy filly. She's a beautiful horse, isn't she? Very, very beautiful. She might be going the Sydney way, maybe. Um, and you've got one of your favourites racing tomorrow at Caulfield. Yes, Royal Snitzel. In the Snitz. Race two. How do you think she's going to go? I think she'll be, it's a tough race, but I think she'll run a very good race. Well, there you go. You've got a tip. Jess has given you one to follow in Royal Snitzel, so get on. Anyway, we're out of here. We're off to Mooney Valley to watch Arizona Girl get the chocolates. So see you later. Uh, we'll talk to you next week. Cheers. Thanks, Jess. Bye.